factoring polynomials. Factors are the numbers to be multiplied, while factoring is the process of getting or giving the factors of a certain number. Common monomial factor or CMF. Example number one. Factor 3x minus 12. Find the GCF of 3x and 12. Their GCF is 3 because 3 can both divide 3 and 12. Now, divide both terms by 3. 3x over 3, we have x because we can't sell 3. And then 12 divided by 3, we have 4. Therefore, the factored form of 3x minus 12 is 3 times the quantity x minus 4. Example number 2. Factor x squared y squared minus 3xy squared. Find the GCF of x squared y squared and 3xy squared. Their GCF is xy squared. Why? Because in getting the GCF of two terms, we get the term with the least exponent. So in that case, x squared and x, we get x and then we affix 1y squared. Now, divide both terms by their GCF, which is xy squared. So x squared, y squared, divided by xy squared, we have x. So cancel y squared and then we get remaining x because in the denominator, the exponent of x is 1. So we subtract the exponent from the numerator. So we have x raised to 2 minus 1, we have x. And then 3xy squared over xy squared, we can sell x and y squared, so we have 3. Therefore, the factor form is xy squared times the quantity x minus 3. Difference of two squares. Example number 1. a squared minus b squared. Since a squared is equal to a times a, and b squared is equal to b times b, we get the factors a and b, and we write as a squared minus b squared equals the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b. So just write separately the two factors of the two terms, and then write positive and negative sign. Example number two. 9x squared minus 25y squared. Since 9x squared is equal to 3x times 3x, and 25y squared is equal to 5y times 5y, we get the factor 3x and 5y and write as 9x squared minus 25y squared is equal to the quantity 3x plus 5y times the quantity 3x minus 5y. Sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes. Let us observe the pattern. For the sum of two cubes, we have a cube plus b cube. To get the first factor a plus b, we get the cube root of the first term. So the cube root of a cube is a because a times a times a is a cube. And then the cube root of b cube is b. Now, to get the second factor, Simply square the first term of the first factor. So the first factor is a, so we have a times a. We have a square. To get the middle term, multiply the two terms, a times b, we have a, b. And notice the negative sign of the middle term. And then to get the last term, square the second term. So b times b, we have b squared. Example, 8x cubed plus 27y cubed. The first factor is 2x plus 3y because the cube root of 8 is 2 and the cube root of x cubed is x. And then the cube root of 27 is 3 and same the cube root of y cubed is y. Now to get the other factor, we square 2x. So we have 2x times 2x equals 4x squared. To get the middle term, 2x times 3y, we have 6 y 6xy and then affix the negative sign and then 3y times 3y we have 9y squared. For the difference of two cubes, this is the pattern. a cubed minus b cubed. The first factor is a minus b. As compared to the sum of two cubes, the first factor is a plus b. That is their difference. And then the same process will be applied to 
get the other factor. So, square A, we have A times A, A square. Multiply the two terms, A times B, we have A, B. But this time, the middle term is positive. Unlike in the sum of two cubes, the middle term is negative. And then the last term is square the first term, which is, I mean the second term, which is B. So, we have B times B is B square. Example, X cubed minus 64. The cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of 64 is 4. So the first term is x minus 4. And then to get the other factor, square x. So we have x times x, x squared. To get the middle term, 4 times x, we have 4x. But the middle term is positive. And then square 4 or negative 4, we have 16. Perfect square trinomial. Example, x squared plus 6x plus 9. Factor x squared and 9. These are the first and last term. So the factors of x squared are x times x and 9, 3 times 3. Writing the factors as the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 3. So we have the quantity x plus 3 squared. Example number 2, 4x square minus 20xy plus 25y square. Factor the first and the last term. So the factors of 4x square are 2x and 2x. The factors of 25y square are 5y and 5y. Writing the factors as 2x minus 5y times the quantity 2x minus 5y. So we have the quantity 2x minus 5y square. Notice the answer is the square of a binomial. General binomial. In the general form, ax squared plus bx plus c, if a equals 1, or the coefficient of the leading term is 1. Example, factor x squared plus 7x plus 12. Think of two integers whose product is the last term and whose sum is the middle term. In this example, the last term is 12 and the coefficient of the middle term is 7. So the factors of 12 are 3 and 4 because 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And then when we add these two same factors, we get 3 plus 4 equals 7. Thus, x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4. To check whether these two factors are correct, we apply the FOIL or the first terms, outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. Other examples, x squared minus 7x plus 12. The factors are the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 4. So the product of negative 3 and negative 4 is 12. And then the sum of negative 3x and negative 4x is negative 7x. x squared plus 3x minus 18, the factors are x plus 6 and x minus 3. So positive 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. The middle term 3x was obtained from 6x minus 3x. And then x squared minus 3x minus 18, we have the factors, the quantity x minus 6 times the quantity x plus 3. So to check, negative 6 times 3, we have negative 18. And then the negative, or the middle term negative 3x is obtained from negative 6x plus 3x. So observe the sign of the middle term. And then, in the general form, ax squared plus bx plus c, if a is greater than 1, example, 3x squared minus 9x minus 12. So, the coefficient of x squared is 3, and 3 is greater than 1. So, in this, we may use a trial and error method to factor the given polynomial. So, 3x squared minus 9x minus 12 3x squared may be factored as 3x and x because 3x times x is 3x squared. And then the factors of 12 are 3 and negative 4. So to check using FOIL method,
all, we multiply the first terms, 3x times x, we have 3x squared. We multiply the outer terms, 3x times negative 4, we have negative 12x. We multiply the middle term, 3x. So adding the two, negative 12x plus 3x, the outer and the inner term, we get negative 9x. And then last terms, positive 3 and negative 4, we get negative 12. Other examples, number 1, 7m squared plus 6m minus 1. We have the quantity 7m minus 1 times the quantity m plus 1. Number 2, 5x squared minus 36x minus 81. The factors are the quantity 5x plus 9 times the quantity x minus 9. And in number 3, 4x squared minus 35x plus 24. The factors are the quantity 4x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 8. All of these may be checked using the FOIL method. Again, FOIL stands for first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. To get the middle term, we simply add the product of the outer and the inner terms.